Hi, as a salesperson, are you trusted? In a recent research article on trust for customers, it was shared that 82%, 82% the salespeople cannot be trusted by the public. That's terrible, isn't it? Are you in that group of 82%? Or are you in the group of 18% that are trusted? I'm gonna share with you today in this YouTube video, the third part of a four part series on the art of persuasion by Dr. Robert Cialdini, the most highly quoted social psychologist in the world. You can check the other YouTube videos I've got that covered part one and part two. Part three today, we're gonna to talk about you becoming the expert to know everything about your product or service and be able to prove that so that you move the customer in your direction to be closer to you. So how do you become the expert? About 10 years ago, we needed a roof for this house that I'm in right now. So I called out, I take to four different contractors, same thing you would do. And they came out to visit with us. The second one that came out, his name was Charles, climbed up on the roof, showed me some weak spots, they did replace some plywood there. Came down, wrote up a quote for me. And then I said to Charles, I said, Charles, why should I deal with you? He then produced a folder. In that folder, he had 32 completed roofs he did. Also, there was 32 testimonials in there, and referrals from those people. In our local community, there were seven. I called three of those people, and they spoke very highly of Charles. Charles didn't selling me on him being the expert. Those customers did. You need to reach out to your past customers. Get referrals, get testimonials, get the proof that shows that you're an expert. Show where you save somebody money, or you move someone in a, a position that they were having a problem and a challenge to where that was solved with your solution, you being the guy to that. But you have to prove that to them. And if you prove that to them, they're likely to move in your direction. Remember, Charles didn't convince me that he was the expert. His customers did. The second part of this video, and if you'll stay with me to the end, I'll share with you a bonus. It's only five minutes long. How do you build trust with somebody else? How do you reduce the tension in the sales process so they trust you and they like you? The way to do that is number one, all proposals, and you know this, have strengths and they have weaknesses. Every proposal does. You need to share your weaknesses first. When I first read this, this went completely against the grain. I thought, why would I want to show the negatives? Nobody wants to hear about the negatives. They'll figure them out themselves, which is the truth. People figure out the negatives themselves. A number of years ago, after I'd read Cialdini's book, in the summer, four items ended up in my driveway that I really didn't want to sell. Number one, I said, let's get rid of the pickup truck because we don't need our RV camper anymore. The kids are growing up. They all have jobs. So I need to sell my pickup truck and a camper. Within a day, my daughter graduated from college. She dropped off her motorcycle. Dad, I don't want it. You're a good salesman, go sell this. On top of that, good friends of ours are moving down to Myrtle Beach. They dropped off their Hyundai SUV, Santa Fe. I came home one night and it's in the yard. So here I've got to sell four things in the beginning of the summer when I've got all this yard work. All I saw was a big pain in the butt. People going around, kicking the tires, arguing about the price, trying to negotiate, and never call me back. I thought, what a hassle. Then I thought about Dr. Robert Cialdini's principles of the negatives, the weak points, and the strong points. So what did I do? I followed his recommendations for strategy. I listed out number one for each of those four items, all the negatives, all the weak points. Pickup truck has some scratches, tires were good for another year, there was a small tear in the seat, radio knob, all the paint was off it. It probably would need a little bit of paint work on the bottom of the truck in the next probably year. I shared all those negatives first about that pickup truck and all the other four items. Also, I listed out four other pickup trucks in the immediate area, similar trucks, same model, similar miles, and the pricing, phone number, and the information from online. I put these all into a, a, a catalog, if you will, folder, and I handed that to the individuals. Also included where all the strengths, the advantages if they bought this pickup truck. People would look with that and then go to their phones and actually call those numbers or text those numbers. And they'd come back over to me. they say, well, this stuff's all true. And I thought, why wouldn't I, why wouldn't I make that true? What was amazing to me for the pickup truck, the motorcycle, 
and, and the, the camper, for everything I was selling, was it a removed attention in the sales process? I would hand him that folder. I would walk back. I had a lawn chair. I would sit in. I had a book that I was reading. 15 minutes, 20 minutes later, they come over. They'd either want the vehicle or they say, you know, this doesn't fit us. The beauty of it, nobody argued with me about this stuff. Nobody questioned anything. Yeah, they might have some questions how different things work on each item, but nobody was in an argument. It was almost like they were my friends from being a stranger to a friend's, all because I shared those weaknesses first. That's the best way to build trust. In fact, on the camper, someone didn't want it. They called their brother, say, look, we don't want this camper. It's too big for us. Why don't you come down and look at it? We think this would fit for you. It's critical for you to build that trust in the shortest amount of time. Share those weaknesses first, then share your strong points after that. That makes you the expert. If you'll do that, if you'll share with people the negatives, build that trust, you'll become the expert. People are more likely to want to do business with you. Thanks for watching today. If you took something from this, please comment, share, send to somebody else. Also, if this seems like too much, work for you, that this is too hard for you to deal with, which I can understand that, then please contact me. My phone number here is at the bottom for a free visit. And I'll be glad to go over through these strategies with you at no cost, no strings attached. Thanks for watching and good selling.